from the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Snow across northeast Wisconsin today, but it's going to warm up and that'll mean rain by the time we get to this weekend. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be in the mid to upper 20s, right around 30 on Saturday, but mid to possibly upper 30s on Sunday. That's the day that we're going to see some rain. That rain will change back over to snow on Monday with highs still above freezing and then some cooler weather returns for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Cooler, but still above normal for this time of year. After highs in the 30s earlier this morning, we are now looking at a mixture of 20s and 30s across northeast Wisconsin. 32 degrees right now in Manitowoc. We've got 28 in Oshkosh. It is 25 degrees in Clintonville. Freezing drizzle for much of the night into this morning mixed with flurries at times. That all changed over to snow during the early afternoon and now we are looking at snow across all of northeast Wisconsin. Here's a live look out of our Green Bay Tower Cam. We have a temperature of 23 degrees and those winds are gusting up to around 25 miles per hour. So with falling temperatures and increasing winds, we're going to see some blowing and drifting of that snow out there this evening, especially in rural areas. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows that snow moving in from the south during the late morning and early afternoon and this evening we are now looking at snow across just about the the entire viewing area and it'll continue for the next six hours or so with most of us picking up right around two more inches. We'll call it one to four inches. The heaviest totals will be south and east of the Fox Valley. We're going to see blowing snow and icy roads and that'll equal treacherous traveling conditions. Here's a look at the two day snowfall so far. Five inches in Oshkosh. We've had about four inches in Fond du Lac and Chilton, right around two inches in Green Bay. The highest snow totals have been across southeastern Wisconsin, almost eight inches in Whitewater. When all is said and done by later on tonight into tomorrow morning, most of us will end up with four to seven inches. There could be some locally higher amounts, especially south and east of the Fox Valley. Still looking at that winter weather advisory. It is up for just about the entire viewing area until midnight tonight. You can see here on NBC 26 Precision Radar that we are dealing with snow across central and eastern Wisconsin, but that back edge is still steadily pushing off towards the east. All of this snow is being produced by an area of low pressure that is now moving across northern Illinois and Indiana. It's producing mainly light to moderate snow across northeast Wisconsin today, but this storm is going to join forces with another storm and turn into just a monster of a storm across New England as we head into tomorrow and Saturday. It looks like two to three feet of snow with hurricane force winds are possible here across southern New England as we head into tomorrow night and Saturday. Meanwhile, back here in northeast Wisconsin, it'll still be snowing at 10 o'clock. That snow will taper to flurries. Maybe a few lingering flurries tomorrow morning along with clouds and then high pressure will build in during the afternoon with a mixture of sun and clouds. Saturday will be quiet and then we watch another big storm pull out of the Rockies for Sunday. But this storm is going to be tracking to our west, which means we're going to be on the warm side of things. And that means a mix during the morning going over to rain. The snowstorm will be out across Minnesota this time. So your forecast for tonight calls for snowy and windy conditions. Temperatures will be dropping into the teens. Tomorrow morning clouds and a few flurries, then increase sunshine as we move into the afternoon. High temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s on Saturday. Quiet weather, sunshine mixing with some clouds. Look for a high of 30 up into the 30s on Sunday. Could see a wintry mix during the morning and then going over to rain. That mix could last longer north and west of the Fox Valley. On Monday, a mix early going over to some light snow. High temperatures will be in the mid 30s. Falling temperatures for Tuesday, highs only in the 20s. And then as we move Towards the big holiday, Valentine's Day, we'll have a chance for some more snow and slightly warmer temperatures back up into the lower 30s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 26 degrees. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Peter's Pantry in Manitowoc. And we did that today. I forecast a high of 33 and the actual high was 31. All right, awesome. And speaking of that three degree guarantee, there was a very special presentation today at Peter's Pantry. That's right. We donated a check for $2,400 to help volunteers there feed even more families. The pantry helps as many as 70 families a day, four days a week, and they're hoping to use the money from our three degree guarantee to help more people throughout the community. We don't get funded, so it's with people and organizations like yours to help us continue to provide the food for the needy people. We, we are so grateful to that. 
The pantry opened its doors back in 1988 and will celebrate its 25th anniversary this May. Tonight on NBC.